the older you get, the more you learn, it's probably best that you mind your own business. Like, it's probably best, like, the less you know about other people's stuff, other people's affairs, other people's relationships. Like, it's probably best that you mind your own business. Like, it's actually safer that way. There's more peace that way. First Thessalonians chapter 4 highlight a principle. It says, make it your goal to live a quiet life, minding your own business. Do you always find yourself in trouble sometimes when you're being nosy? I mean, it doesn't mean we want to be ignorant because the Bible says, see, God's people are destroyed by their lack of knowledge. So there's things that you ought to know. But when it's none of your business, that's a beautiful sign that you should probably just mind your own. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, man, I had to show y'all that message real quick. From this is Al Boehner. Shout out to This is Al Boehner. Go follow him on Instagram, man. He got a lot of dope messages just like that one, man. So make sure y'all go follow him, man, because, listen, that message is real. You know, and I'm sure from the movies y'all heard, like, you know, that uh, phrase where it say, like, like, I would tell you, but if I tell you, I have to kill you. You know, that's real right there. You know, it's a lot of people that done lost their lives you know, just because of the things that they knew or some people thought they knew. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just gotta realize, man, like, yo, like, not knowing is sometimes the best. You know, that's how you protect your peace. And that's what keep you out of a lot of drama, a lot of gossip, you know, that'll keep you from getting pulled into things that you have no business being involved in, you know, because you mind your own business, you know, and, you know, it's just so many situations that just go down because, you know, we found ourselves just being a little bit too nosy. You know what I'm saying? And listen, I'm a te I, it happened to me before too, you know, just in the middle of some Facebook stuff and, you know, I inbox somebody about something and before you know it, I was into a female going back and forth with her, and I was into it with her brother, you know? So that's just how easy you could get sucked into something that didn't even have nothing to do with me. But, it's, but since I chose to inquire about it because it was a friend that was getting dragged, you know, on Facebook, you know, I chose to jump in somebody's inbox and ask them like, yo, like, what is, what is, the, what is the issue? You know, and that's all it took. You know, she told me something, and then next thing you know, I'm being called messy and all that other stuff. But you know what? It is messy. You know, when you go sticking your nose in the stuff that has nothing to do with you. But it's like he said, though, you know, like, yeah, you know, we're not supposed to be ignorant to things. You know, you do want to learn some stuff, but you know the difference between things that's edifying to you that you should know and the things that you just should know when it comes to other people's relationships, when it comes to just drama, you know, when it comes to things that have nothing to do with you. Listen, bro, that type of info, like, what, 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 that does nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, a lot of times, bro, people just be wanting to know, bro, but it, it makes no sense because it, it doesn't bring nothing to you. If anything, it just involves you because as soon as other people find out, like, you know, somebody like that, where some information get out, and then what's the first thing the person asks who the information is about? They be like, who else know about it? You know what I'm saying? And then if your name get caught up into that, then guess what? Now you a target. You know what I mean? Now you involved. Now you pulled into that. That you know, you just don't even involve yourself in it, bro. Don't tell me nothing. I don't want to know about it. I don't care who effing each other. I don't care who on the DL. I don't care who got AIDS. I don't care who didn't did what. Listen, leave me out of it because that's not bringing me any peace. And you don't want that type of energy that's, you know, just, just around you. Or, you know, you don't want none of them thoughts. You know, you don't want none of that stuff on your heart. You don't want none of that in your spirit. Listen, you know, so don't be trying to hear it, bro. Don't be trying to hear it, man. That's None of that is edifying or have anything to do with where you're trying to go and the person that you're trying to be in your life. You know, but as soon as you going in and 
inserting yourself in that, bro. Listen, that hey, you putting your own peace at risk. And you just heard him just read off that first Thessalonians 4, bro. Like, we should be seeking peace, bro. We should be minding our business. You know, and that's the first order. When you mind your business, you stay out of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You minding the business and the things that's in front of you. Like we say, what's on our plate. We not worried about what's on anybody else's plate. But you know, you got a lot of people that will purposely pull you into stuff. You know what I'm saying? Person, per, you know, like purposely tell you information that you shouldn't even be knowing about. And then you think about like the movies, like the mob movies and stuff like that. You know, you just think about a mob movie, bro. They, you know, most of the time, bro, they whack people just for even thinking that they know something, just for your connection with certain people that know info. You ain't to know the info. You ain't even got to know nothing. But because you was connected to them and could possibly know something, then listen, bro, you know, there's plenty of situations to where that got other people hurt, that got their family hurt, all types of things. So when people come to you with that type of stuff, listen, ain't trying to be rude, but I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Because they do that on purpose, bro. And then next thing you know, they telling people that you know. Next thing you know, they making, they, you know, you will have some, you know, you got some wicked people out here. They are flipping. Even though they told you something, they are flipping and, and tell other people that they heard it from you. You see what I'm saying? Like, it is a mess, bro. It's just one big mess that you don't want to be involved in. One big soap opera, you know, and, you know, thanks to the internet, thanks to social media, it's, it's worse now than it is ever than it than it, than it ever been, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's worse now than it's ever been. And you literally seeing people lose their life behind this stuff. Behind he say, she say. You seeing people lose their life behind he say, she say. Because none of them was seeking peace out here. You know what I mean? And what you got to understand is like, you know, that scripture. What, what, uh, you think about that Proverbs... 11 and 13 Proverbs 11 and 13 says a talebearer revealeth secrets but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter you know what I'm saying you got to understand that a talebearer revealeth secrets but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter so you could even be knowing stuff but you're not going to say nothing about it you're not going to speak on it but when people come in, you know, want to want to want to run to you with all of that stuff, bro, man, you gotta think about it, man. You know, you could be close to people like that, and they could know information about you. So if they running you, telling you about other people's business, what you think they telling other people about your business? Think about that. What you think they telling other people about the things that they know about you? You know what I'm saying? And that's a talebearer right there, bro. They 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 go they out there telling stories, don't even be knowing or caring if it's factual or not. But guess what? They in everybody's ear talking about them. You know, you gotta understand how low energy that is, how low vibrational that is. You know what I'm saying? How low frequency that is, because you know, the people that's involved in all of that stuff, most of them be on that broad path too. You know, a lot of this stuff be going on in them churches, too. But most of them, bro, that be on that, bro, it's because, you know, they just want to distract people from the lives that they live in. You know what I'm saying? They want to distract people from the lies that they tell them. You know, they want to distract people for, from, you know, how low energy they are. So what they do, they always got a story to tell about somebody else, but they don't want to talk about what's going on in their house. They don't want to talk about what's going on with they kids. You know what I mean? They don't want to talk about what's going on with they health. They don't want to talk about the sins that they out here committing and doing. But they always want to be about everybody else, bro. You know, that's lame. You shouldn't even want to be around people like that, bro. But what you got to understand is that if you are, bro, it's just a matter of time before you get caught up in the day mess and, got, and, and, and nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think about 
you know, I think I might have brought him up earlier, uh, but uh, game spitter, bro. You know, just because you was with him, you know, that that term is real, bro. Because you was with him, guess what? You get hit too. You catch them same lashings too. So think about that before you hang out with certain people when you know they like to be capping and running their mouth all the time, bro. When you know that's what they do, hey, listen, stay away, stay far away from them and definitely don't be telling them your business, bro. Don't be telling them none of your business because guess what? That's going to become everybody's business. So stay away from them tail bears, man, and protect your peace. Protect your peace. That's that's the number one goal. If you protect your peace, that's going to keep you away from all that stuff. And a lot of times, bro, like when you on journeys like this, when you in the spirit, when you on a righteous path, you know, and you give off that masculine energy, people will know better than to come to you with nonsense. People will know better. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people will try to see your reaction. They will try you to see your reaction. But that's why you got to stand on all 10 when they come with that. Don't give them the energy that they want. Don't be giving them the what. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hear mo. You know what I mean? Or or jumping in on the bandwagon. That's lame, bro. Don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Cut them off. Be like, I, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Or just don't say nothing. Some people just, you, you, you already know. They just got to talk. You, you know what? Go ahead. Get it out of your system. But I don't care. But a lot of times we don't even be wanting to hear it at all. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. But that's the energy that you got to have, bro. That's the energy that you got to have. You got to take it serious these days. You know what I'm saying? Because your life can be dependent on it. For real, for real. You know what I mean? Your purpose can be dependent on it. It could cost you, you know, this, this didn't happen at the workplace before. Where a lot of mugs got to talking and stuff and then a situation happened and then an investigation ensued. And then guess what? You getting pulled into HR about something you ain't even had nothing to do with. But because you was with them or because you knew something or because, you know, mugs out here whispering and talking and all of that. Listen, now you involved, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you could be pos- you could possibly lose your job because of that. You know, you could lose on uh, lose out on opportunities because of that. You could lose out on blessings because of that, bro. Silly stuff. But when you seeking when you seeking peace, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it's gonna keep you out of a lot of that stuff. And when you stand on all ten and you give off that energy, bro, people will know better than to come at you with that stuff. They gonna know off top you ain't trying to hear it. They gonna know off top that you don't care. And a lot of times, bro, people that be running their mouth like that, you know, with other people's info, with rumors and gossip and all of that, they usually like to roll together. So that's why you can't give off that energy that you rock like that. You know, you got to stay in the spirit, you know, and staying in the spirit is, you know, blocking off things that can disrupt you and your purpose and the most highest will and all of that. That's staying in the spirit. Staying away from things that could cause you to sin, things that could just get in your mind and all of that stuff that could cause you to maybe possibly treat people different. You know what I'm saying? Just because of something you heard that you don't even know if it's true or not, man. It's just a, it's a, it's a lot of things that come with that type of stuff. And again, I've been pulled into things like that and I've inserted myself into things like that. You know, like I told y'all with the Facebook story, which had me getting into it with a brother, which had me getting into it with his sister and back and forth stuff that could easily spin out of control. You know, just because I inquired about something, you know, that somebody just the info and messiness that was getting put out out there. You know what I'm saying? Just being curious, bro. You know what I'm saying? You see somebody dragging a friend of yours that you know, that you've known, you know what I'm saying, that you grew up with. I ain't gonna act like we just been tight the whole time, but, you know, I grew up with, you know, somebody, you see them getting dragged and they talking about taking them to court or, you know, a case and all of that stuff. 
and you like, you know, you friends with the chick. You like, yo, what? You know, I don't know the chick, but you know, you just friends with her on Facebook. So you like, I ain't even know that they was even together or had kids or anything like that. You know, but it was some serious, some serious allegations behind that, and I should have stayed out of it. So that was my fault. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how messy, messy she was and stuff that she putting out and things that I didn't like to see about somebody that I knew, but I still should have stayed out of it. You know what I'm saying? That's none of my business. You know what I'm saying? That's none of my business. So that was me. I inserted myself into that. And then guess what? It caused the whole thing because me and old girl started going back and forth. Then me and her brother start going back and forth. And it wasn't even about the situation. It started with that situation, but then it turned into something ugly. You know, so that's how quickly things can happen. And listen, bro, it's just not worth it, bro. You know what I mean? Facebook and all of that BS, it ain't worth it, man. You know, so protect your peace, protect your mind, protect your spirit, and tell these folks you ain't trying to hear it. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jason and Sin Tate. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.